Hi everybody, this is Nicole from 20 Something Planner. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a plan with me spread for the week of May 4th. And this week I'm using a kit from Two Little Bees. This is her, I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's one of, um, it's something along the lines of like simplicity or something like that. But I am so happy I got my hands on this kit. I ended up only being able to get the mini version. I missed the first time that this kit got released and by the second time she released it, when I went on her website, the mini kit was the only size option available. So I picked it up anyway. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed using this kit. If you saw in the beginning there, there was a page, like a small page of just like functional items. So I didn't really struggle at all with putting together a complete spread. I did this in more of like a plan as I go style. And I have to say, I think this is my favorite spread from 2020. Just the spacing and the way that everything turned out. I'm, I'm so obsessed with the way that it turned out. I said in my last video that may has been a really good month for planning i don't know if quarantine has just gotten my planning juices flowing but i i'm just like sitting here flipping through my planner and enjoying every spread that i've done for the month um okay so i am just putting together my sidebar right now i did end up putting down foiled day covers from rose color days the kit did come with foiled or no the kit came with date covers but they weren't foiled um and the text was just like a little blocky. I figured the script that uh, was printed on the Rose Colored Days date covers kind of matched the simplicity text in the quote box. So um, I just ended up putting those down because I wanted to incorporate some foil up there. I'm going to put down date dots in a minute here. Uh, those were also from Rose Colored Days. And then I pulled in some Simply Gilded Washi just up at the top to separate my habit tracker and then everything else I've used thus far is from the kit. It's been a hot minute since I've actually had date dots that have correlated with the days that I'm actually planning. Um, I've been leaving that space blank for the most part because I've been running out of my rose color days date dots, but I've picked up a couple um, from Sticky Sloth Designs and I just got a few in from Panda Bird Designs as well. So um, I was happy that I was actually able to put down some date dots on film this time. Getting on into the day to day, I started off on Monday with a half box and a don't forget script sticker from rose color days to mark that I had uh, a maintenance appointment at work so I had to be there early uh, then because we were getting ready to reopen my surgery center I wanted to schedule the cleaners to come and do a deep clean uh, of the center and to mark that I used a flag from the kit and that schedule sticker is from Sessa V again I said this in my last video um, they are some of my favorites. Unfortunately, the shop doesn't offer those stickers anymore, but I do pull a few of those in throughout the week. Um, so when you see those, they are from Sesame. Uh, I put down a laptop girl from Panda Bird Designs over top of a quarter box, and I use that to mark some month end reports that I had to run uh, for April. Uh, that usually takes me quite a long time. Um, and then towards the bottom, I did end up going to the grocery store this night. So I pulled in a hexagon sticker from the kit and the shopping cart stickers from Crafts by Tawi. On Tuesday, I started off with a bow. I had a call with my clinical director. Uh, it had been a while since we had spoken just because the center had been closed for so long but because we were getting ready to open i just gave her a call and update on some things going on um this day was also cinco de mayo so i marked that with a piece of washi from the kit and a uh, holiday sticker from rose colored days when i got home from work this day um it was really beautiful out and my fiance and I went on another really long walk this day. So I marked that with a third box from the kit and that sneakers from Crafts by Towie. And then um, 
I put I don't remember what I put that laptop sticker down for I'm sure it's something work related but um I don't know I guess I use that to mark a project for work that I continued on when I got home um, but that laptop sticker was from planning world and then um, I marked three calls that day with a quarter box from the kit and another arrow sticker from Sesame. On Wednesday, I put down one of those boxes from Simply Watercolor Co. I think that one is actually done in collaboration with uh, Paper Blush Bar as well. But I put that down to mark that I had some people come in and just help me with some items that I couldn't really do on my own. I had been working completely by myself up until this point. So it was nice to have some social interaction at my office um, as well as some help just finalizing some things uh, in the office. Uh, when I got home this day, I did a bunch of laundry. So I used that stock sticker from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that. And um, I actually had a phone interview this day. So I marked some in interview prep with a quarter box and that paper clip is from Planning Like a Pro. And then to mark the interview call, I used the hexagon sticker from the kit and that cell phone icon is from Paper Blush Bar. And then I just put my full box down and a squiggle from Rose Color Days to take up some space. The interview that I had was actually for myself. A lot of the times when I mark interviews, it's for uh, positions that I am hiring for, but this was actually um, an interview that I was not conducting and uh, was interviewing for a position with a completely different company outside of the healthcare industry. Uh, I ended up deciding that it wasn't a good fit. So after like the second interview, I just politely told them that it wasn't a match. Um, but I'm still aggressively looking for another position. Um, but anyway, on Thursday, I ended up ordering a new daily planner. I wasn't loving the one that I had got. I got, I can't remember what it's called, but I got one from Target at the end of last year. Um, and I think it's a good uh, planner for work, but to plan like my other daily plans in, I don't really, I don't really like it that much. So I ordered a plum paper planner. Um, which I had used last year after Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan raved about it and I watched her actually plan in it. So I ordered one with a June start. So I am excited for that to come in. Um, okay, I'm doing a little bit of shimmying here. I used a third box and that bow sticker from my newest addiction to mark a bunch of safety checks that I had to conduct around the office. I had to, I have to do those weekly, um, even though we are closed, just in case something goes wrong, I can kind of identify it and um, get it fixed. I put down another squiggle from Rose Color Days just to take up some space again. And then I used the laptop sticker from the kit and layered that with a calendar sticker from Crafts by Towie to mark that I needed to call someone within my company to help me run a few reports. So um, I used that combination of stickers to mark that and I didn't really have much going on on Thursday apparently so I put some more simply gilded washi down to take up some space. Okay moving on to Friday I started the day off um, just with the full box. I was a little out of frame. Sorry about that. But it was my fiance's brother's birthday on Friday so to mark his birthday I used a scallop sticker from Panda Bird Designs. I love these stickers, but I find it is hard to layer other stickers with them because I don't always necessarily want to cover up the hearts, but to put something on the other side looks weird too. That's my own just personal two cents there, but I do love her scallop stickers. Um, okay, so I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I marked my fiance's brother's birthday on that scallop. Um, I had to schedule our first round of patients that we were going to see um, at our office. So I spent the day doing that because again, all of my staff is furloughed. So I'm kind of taking on everybody's jobs at the moment. Um, and to mark that, I used a half box and that pen is from Crafts by Towie. I had a call on this day as well. So I used a flag from 
paper muse crafts to mark that those are super old i don't even know if they're available anymore um and then we ordered takeout on this night for um my fiance's brother's birthday we ordered tacos because we actually weren't able to get any takeout for tacos on cinco de mayo just because everybody and their mother was doing that so we got tacos on Friday so I marked that with the quarter box from the kit and an order sticker from Sessa V and then I just put a circular sticker from the kit down at the bottom because I didn't really have much room for anything else um, but we just had my fiance's mother and brother over for a socially distanced dinner in our backyard we've gotten a lot of use out of our fire pit um this year so far because of quarantine we just all sit outside like are scattered around the yard and we have the fire pit in the middle so it was fun um but on saturday morning i found out that my favorite coffee shop was open so i went and picked up a couple of coffees for me and my fiance so i used a circular sticker a larger one from the kit and the coffee cup from the kit as well to mark that and then when i got home i've been really big into making pancakes so on this day i made blueberry pancakes with lemon zest and they came out so delicious uh, and to mark that i used a quarter box from the kit and that mixer is from paper blush bar i had a super lazy day on saturday um i think i started watching the second season of dead to me um which is probably my favorite show on netflix it's so well done it's funny it's the storyline is really interesting um if you haven't watched it yet i highly recommend it but to mark that i used a half box from the kit and that cozy chair setup is from crafts by tally i also filmed a video on saturday and i really like the way that i marked it you can't see it now but you will in a minute um i just layered a flag from the kit with a foiled flag from sesa v and i put a camera sticker from paper blush bar over top of both those arrows and I just I really like the way that they that that came out and then I just wrote plan with me underneath that um Sunday was Mother's Day so I took a quarter box from the kit or a third box from the kit actually and layered the rose color days holiday sticker over top of that and then my fiance and I brought mimosas over to my mom's house to celebrate Mother's Day. We drank them outside, socially distanced again. Um, thank God it's been like somewhat decent out. It's been a little cold, but it hasn't been really raining for us to all get together. Um, I did a bunch of editing this morning, so I used a laptop sticker from Crafts by Towie and layered that over a circular sticker from the kit. When we got back from my mom's house, I just spent some time doing some self-care i painted my nails and took a bath and to mark the bath i used a quarter box from the kit and a sleepy time mask from my newest addiction and to mark painting my nails i used crafts by towie um, her 2.0 version of her nail polish bottle and just layered that over a flag from the kit and that wraps up this spread. I'm so happy again with the way that it turned out. I hope you guys are just as obsessed with it as I am. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will chat with you all in my next video. Bye everybody.